Okay, so I spent the last couple weeks struggling with Animesh, and I figured I'd make a video uh, as a guide for new creators and experienced creators who want to get into Animesh. So we're going to start from the very be beginning. Uh, you'll notice that I'm in 2.92, and I am using Avastar R10. I recommend you keep them up to date, as this will try and keep you bug-free and uh, probably make your workflow as easy as it can be. So to begin, we're going to add a Avastar skeleton into the scene. And we are immediately going to go to the Avastar tab on the side and go to rig, or I'm sorry, Avastar shape. We're going to hit neutral shape. It needs to be a neutral shape for Animesh. And you'll also find neutral shape being referred to as white stickman shape if you're talking to the Avastar devs or if you are, excuse me, um, if you are reading some of the documentation. Now, once we have uh, it in neutral shape, we want to make sure these are relatively close to the same size. You can scale up the avatar as well, but I just like to play it on the safe side and I scale down whatever I'm working on. From there, we just go immediately into joint edit. And this is where things get really interesting. This is where a lot of the fun happens with uh, making Animesh is setting up all the bones. So you kind of want to have an understanding of animation before you, how you want this thing to animate before you even begin this part. However, I already know, so we're just going to go ahead and go through it. Now, you'll notice here, we have this dotted black line. That means that this bone is parented to the one that it's connected to on the line. However, it is not actually connected to it. So in this case, we can go to bone properties and bone relations and go ahead and click connected. That'll snap the bone together. And uh, this will help with things like IK, I believe. So now we have this bone, which is connected to this one. However, we don't want it to be. You know, we want this bone to free float because we want it to end right here. And do 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 do. And we'll move it all up right here. So now we have the first kind of setup going. However, we don't have a parent on this one anymore. And this is extremely important to take note of because if you have something unparented, it will fail to upload and you'll be stuck like I was thinking, what the heck did I do wrong? Why is Avastar against me? So we're going to keep that in mind because later on we're going to parent everything to either the torso or the pelvis, depending on what we want it to be rigged up as. I hope this video doesn't get too long because I am going to walk you through the whole process just to make sure that you don't miss any parts and just kind of talk you through just everything. So if you're having trouble selecting that middle part, you can use C and just instantly select it. And we have these going here. So we got those bones done and now we're going to do knee and hip left. So there are these bones here um hip link left and hip link right I, I used them before and they broke things so i recommend avoiding using those uh, maybe one of the avastar groups will pop in and you know comment on this video and say that i'm totally wrong hip link does work however in my experience it has not so we're going to unparent this from hip left and we are going to grab that down so i can select this one move above and we have all those in place. I'm doing a very rough rig. Obviously this is your robot. You would take a lot more care in it, but in my case, I'm not too concerned about it. So same thing with this one. We're going to just say disconnect hip right. And we're going to just move this all over. And then we're going to do C cause I can't seem to select things. Drop that one off and drop that one off. And then now, here, here, and let's grab, let's say like the arms here. So we have, we want to yeah, we want these two. Let's do, let's disconnect that from elbow. Shoulder right, collar right, let's disconnect those two. Oh, got another thing connected to elbow right. And 
and we're going to just get all the legs in place. This is going to be very rough, and this might, hopefully it doesn't break when I try and uh, finalize it. So this is different than what I did before, which may seem kind of foolish. I wonder if I can Alt-R these. No, you can't Alt-R them. But we will have everything set up here. And then we're going to... So these ones are technically, um, I'm not going to animate them or technically edit them, um, but we're going to go ahead and just parent them. Let's see, what is this bone? We'll just parent them to color left here. Just so that it is parented and we don't have to worry about possibly breaking anything, even though we're not going to use them. And I'll go over what I actually use and parented on my action, my real file. I'm just trying to do this quickly so that you don't get bored. All right, we're going to hide all these ones that we don't really care about. And we're going to say, let's say torso. Let's say torso. No, let's say pelvis is what we're going to actually work with. So that's skull. This is eye target. We have origin, we have the cog, so we can move everything, and we have pelvis. So we want all of these parented to pelvis and lower caps. Oh, I have to actually select it. Whoops. And... Now we have a full rig ready to go here. So the next step is very, very important because we need to go to pose and animate and we need to go to posing and we need to go rig modify and hit with joints. This is gonna snap all of the joints to the correct position. So you have, you know, you have your volume bones, you have just your default bones, animation bones, and then your joint edit. All of them need to be in the same location. So that when we do use things like skin and weight, it doesn't just immediately break. One thing you're gonna notice though, when you do go to skin and weight, is that these bones are not connected in the way that you want. So when you're adjusting the rig, when you're doing the, um, the rigging itself, the, when you bind it, and then you're doing weight painting, you're going to notice that sometimes when you move certain parts, it doesn't, it'll move something else, and it, it'll be really weird. That happens sometimes, it's not all the time, however, it is something to keep in mind. So, with that being said, let it, let us grab the skeleton, grab the uh, mesh, and do automatic from bones, you can also do empties if you prefer to completely start your weight paint from scratch and we're going to bind to armature then we can select the bone the skeleton and select the stool and do some weight painting so in this case we have all our weight painting you see this is what i was talking about so this means that one of these parents is you know messed up so you this is parented to this bone but when this bone moves this bone it moves that bone that's the kind of stuff that I'm talking about, that uh, when you are in Pose and Animate, won't happen. So it is something to keep in mind. And from there, all you're going to really do is weight paint like normal. Fortunately, I'm not a huge fan of 2.92's having in and out of weight paint. So we would paint this up, paint this up. A lot of these are already correct for the most part and don't really need much adjustment. Um, you know, all of this would want to be on just pure red on that. All this would be pure red and not have any green there. Uh, that's a whole other tutorial. Weight painting takes a while um, and it is highly recommended you just look at some blender weight painting tutorials. You can learn how to use your um, vertex and face modes, etc. For something like this, that would make it really easy. 
a lot of you are probably not going to do inorganic uh, and your your mesh is going to work perfectly from the beginning so let's say we finished our weight painting and now we're just imposing animate and you'll notice that we lost some of the bones that i accidentally hid and now we have to go on rehide everything um bit annoying when that happens but hey the animesh animesh isn't supposed to be easy um so now we have rigs that are ready to work on the next big tip that i'm going to give you the final big tip that i'm going to give you is that you can do whatever you want with these animation bones and it does not matter so long as they're parented, um, so long as your underlying bones are parented, and so long as everything is lined up with uh, with the width joints, you can kind of just go wild with this. So one nice thing about Avastar is that it does come with uh, reverse IK automatically, and that's right under the bone properties and bone constraints. So we have these parented to the pelvis, which means that we can just click those and now we have a reverse IK allowing us to easily move things now you see how that's a little too intense there so let's go and do that and boom now we have a reverse IK that works obviously we have unweighted vertices there um, but we're not going to talk about that <laughs> uh, so yeah we have another broken thing here um, we don't want copy rotation we can take that off these are good good tools to learn You'll notice that there's something weird going on with that. Um, let me go back to what I was just saying. These are good tools to learn, learning how to do constraints. However, with Second Life, some of them are flip-flopped, and it can become quite a tedious process. So, I recommend learning more than what I'm dis displaying on the video here. However... I think that many of you are quite capable um, of doing so. So this one should be three, and then that one's two, and then this, you know, we have those constraints there, three and two. So a lot of these should work by default, but we're having these weird issues. And to fix those issues, you're gonna go to bone properties, and you're actually going to go to inverse kinematics, and you'll see that you have these locks and we're going to unlock them and boom things are working a lot better already now the real trick is if you have something inorganic like this and you want to limit it say you know i don't need any limits on this one because it seems to be working fine but on this bone let's fix the chain length this bone i don't want it to clip into the sides so i would go here and I would do limit on, this is another weird part because the bones are all flip flops. Sometimes it's X, sometimes it's Z, but let's say like negative 10 to positive 10 and boom. Now we are limiting it. So when I'm pulling it around, it can't clip through quite as much. Same thing here. We're gonna go to this one and Z again, negative 10 and positive 10. And then now when we pull this around, it's clipping through. You can also, if you really want to get specific, limit um, the rotation on the Y or X to get rid of it flipping upside down like that. Or lock, say, like X. Let me reset these bones with Alt R. So let us lock Y. I think Y, is it Y? Yeah, I think Y is its vertical axis in this case. So it can't be grabbed and moved away. And it does have wrong chain length again. Um, doo -doo -doo. And we're looking good. So that's something to play with. It takes a little bit to figure out. A lot of them are flipped, especially when you have legs are going to be you know, Z, and then sometimes the arms, let me see, do I have an arm there, is going to be a different um, different lock here. You can see it's already limited, uh, but we're going to, you know, click all those off, and we would figure it out ourselves. Let's say like Z, Z is 
it's actually the same in this case. So my original one, it was not. And then we could limit like, you know, X, which is up and down. And that means Y is going to be the rotation axis. So regardless, at the end of the day, you're going to end up with something like this, where everything is limited in the correct way. Um, you can see through here that most of these are unlimited and you can increase the stiffness. I didn't really bother with it, um, but it, I can't really feel it because of how far I pull it. You can kind of, but it wasn't super on my mind. Um, but you can see all these are set up with limits on different axes, depending on what was affecting which bone. And you can see that I did foot, knee, shoulder, shoulder left, etc. And pretty much everything, if we go to joint edit, we unhide everything. Everything is connected. In this case, I just didn't even bother disconnecting these uh, like I did it earlier. But just so long as everything has a skeleton. The next phase is just doing a quick rig test for yourself. Uh, you're going to want to be pose and animate and, you know, just grabbing everything and creating a test and getting that uploaded. Because if this, at this phase, if it, this animesh doesn't upload and animate in world, then you've done something wrong. Now, when you go in world, um, I wish I had it open, but just remember that there is an animesh little button you need to press that button check mark it in the object tab. Otherwise you won't have your anim animesh working as well as you need an animesh specific script to play this animesh demo. Now, if you have Firestorm and you go to the Rigging Properties tab, it will automatically have everything set up for you. Um, if you're not using Firestorm, you may have to enable joints. You may have to do some other stuff that I'm not familiar with. I'm almost exclusively a Firestorm user. But I hope that this tutorial got you a lot farther than you may have otherwise gotten. Because... Gosh darn, did this take forever for me to figure out. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, um, please think about subscribing to my Twitch or supporting my store in World. And yeah, that's it. That's Animesh. I'll maybe do some more videos on this where I just do a complete workflow and show you guys how I set up things like my future pets or maybe some mechas. But if you have any questions, just leave a comment or drop a DM or better yet, post in the Avastar Discord. Gaia and Etheria are amazing and they are extremely helpful. And if you have any little hiccups, they'll be there to help you along the way. All right, thank you.